I'm Colin Campbell. I'm the lead level designer here working on Mass Effect Andromeda in Bioware Montreal. So an average day for me is, so I show up, um, I usually have a little bit of time to settle in, get some breakfast or drink some tea, catch up on emails that might have come in overnight, uh, and then I kind of square away from my day. I take care of how we create levels for Mass Effect Andromeda. The role of a level designer is equal parts providing gameplay to the player as it is storytelling, as it is supporting art, as it is taking all those, those disparate pieces and trying to be one of the pieces of glue that holds them all together and creates a cohesive experience. If you're making a big RPG like we're making, it's, they're, they're big moving beasts. So you need to have a team that's capable of taking vision from high up and, and populating it out to a game that in a lot of cases, all, all the devs won't see all the parts of it. So you have to have a really, really good team that's really good at communication. Uh, I might tell a level designer that we need to make a level where we're feeling like you're entrenched, you're pushing people back from all, from all angles. We want that kind of feeling, narratively. Uh, so the level designer might take that experience and try different things. They might look at different enemy compositions, they might like different layout compositions. There's not a lot of micromanaging because people are allowed to try things, fail a little bit, um, improve. The team here at Bio Montreal is a really great mix. We've got folks from all over the industry. We've got Bioware veterans that have moved out here from Edmonton. Uh, we've got folks that are, this is their first Bioware game, like myself. So it's this wonderful, cool mix of lots of different people, lots of different personalities, lots of different approaches. It's a very lively studio. It's weird to come into work and have conversations that are contextual to games you played before you were part of the company and realize you're talking to the guy who wrote Minsk and you're talking to the guy who worked the, built the Normandy. There's still weird geek out moments. Holy crap, you, you built the, the tally acquisition mission in them too, and it's like, um, so those, I hope that never goes away. So I remember when the E3 trailer came out, when that got shown to the public, I, that kind of made it real in a way that you don't get when you're in a meeting room. This is what we're doing, and people are responding to it, and they're, you know, they're making predictions, and they're making guesses, and they're asking questions, and. The, the tenor of excitement just skyrocketed. That was sort of a magical period of time where all of us sort of realized, oh yeah, this is it. This is a really fun environment to work in. Uh, there's really, really good people here. So I, that, that makes it worthwhile to come into work every day and 12 through eight hours of meetings and all the hurdles that come with making a game.